if you're going to build a time machine, if you are operating from the premise that there's just one past and yeah, you'll end up in some random path and you will not be able to come back to the right one. You have to make sure that if you want to go back to, let's say 1995, you've got to figure out a way to map whatever path your consciousness th took through the many worlds in order to get back to the right 1995, because you could go back in time, but you may not go back to the correct 1995 that you're trying to get back to. For example, back to the future. When Marty went back home, he went from Twin Pine Mall to Lone Pine Mall. And then they even showed this about his family that he went back to was completely different. So he's never going to get back to his family. I said this in past episodes before that's done. Like he'll never get back to original family because that machine was only going to take you. If you look at the date, it was only going to take you to that date, but it didn't map the, the correct path of his trajectory. There's a myriad of different 1985 or whenever it was that he went back to there's there was just there's a myriad of different ones he just went back to a 1985 that's what's complex about time travel so think dark matter on apple but like infinitely even more complicated because dark matter was only dealing with like parallel universes in the in the present but if you're talking about time travel it becomes infinitely even more complex than just that blake crouch the writer of dark matter wrote a book called recursion which is another one of my favorite books but the way he explored time travel is that you stay in your form and then you travel back through the mind using a machine. And I feel like that might be easier because you use the brain as a quantum computer and then you can use it to map a path back and go back through the mind to find the exact path that you have traveled through.